Okay, hey guys, I got some, I only got like 15 minutes to do this, but uh, normally it would take a lot more, but I got so many um, questions for doing a tutorial on the, on the some uh, kind of movement uh, grid based games. Uh, so there is the, there are many different ways to do this. I will start by doing this the most you know the easiest way by having path objects. It was, this is the way I've done it the most times. Recently I've started working with uh, with with grids instead because they are you know better for movement. But if you want to do a simple game, do it like this. So I have the path general and I have the object path, and we give the object path the sprite of the the, the square. I made it hundred by hundred and centered. Uh, I'll explain all this later. And so we put it this parent to the object path. And then we go for a new object called this one object player. Uh, general. Because I like to do it like with parent. With parent always. Uh, let's make player one. Okay, play. I, and maybe this is going a bit fast, but I don't really want to explain much. Because right now I'm just doing standard stuff. You can see all, everything I'm doing, right? Okay, so I, I guess you, you don't want to just wait for me babbling about stuff. I'll just explain the important stuff when we get to the coding. So, um, yeah, let's put in some variables. Okay, so movement, this is how many spaces or whatever spaces. Yeah, I guess he'll be able to, to move. Let's say he'll be able to move. Let's say three spaces, not two spaces. Let's see he has his uh, initiative. Uh, let's see, let's call it something. Let's, let's call it cooldown. Let's say cooldown of 30. I'll explain all this later. This is just the standard stuff. Maybe make sure to do this because otherwise it won't call the right stuff. So go to the player now. Uh, he's the parent. Uh, where is he? The father. Oh, he's just gone. Yeah, he is the parent. He has the parent, yeah. Right. And so we have move equals to false because we're not moving. X, X equals to X. Y, Y equals to Y. Uh, I think we're good to go. Okay. Okay, now I'm just gonna do this and show you everything, right? So you can learn it. Global jet check initiative initiative equals to f equals to true if she adds if I have always had so many troubles spelling that word. It's greater than zero initiative minus equal one else Um, zero equal to one. Global dot initiative equals to false. And this just reminds me of the one thing. Let's go make an, a, a control object. Object control. Um, copy paste that into there. I'll explain it later. Just do it for now. Okay. Instance create. 0, 0.0 object control. This is for the room, the room room creation code, right? Okay, just gonna do this real quick. I'm sorry it's real quick, but I my camera record I can only record for 15 minutes because I don't own a camera recorder. So I gotta do the video real really quick. Or this I want to do like separate parts of the tutorial, which is ridiculous, but <laughs> who knows, you know? Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy the video at least. Let's start by saying that. Um, okay, let's just start building up everything here. So let's see, hundred times a hundred. Let's make the room something like a thousand. What's what's normal screen size? Two thousand two seventy eight, something like that. It doesn't really matter. I don't want that. I just want like let's say a thousand. This is just for testing. There's no reason like. Uh, no, let's say fire. Let's design six hundred. Uh, let's throw in some of these. These are ah oh, We can't see them. Oh, what what is going on? Why is it that I can't see? Ah, I get it now. This should not be transparent. Yeah, of course. What a noobish error. Um, let's just clear the room for every instance here. Okay, cool. Here we go. So let's start dropping some spaces for movement. You can do like only movement part paths. You can do something like this. You could also. You would. I just. I just want everything to be like full except for the borders. Okay, that was something that could be like if you know you're playing like a chess game, like a chess game. So we'll play uh, our first player here. Make sure to chip, chip that off. So he'll start there and he'll be able to move to here, 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 here and here because he has two movement points. So two times a hundred because they are hundred times a hundred going to two, uh, times two equals to like 200, uh, 200 whatever. It, it's, it's basic math, math. There's no, not so much to deal with that. Okay. So 
this is going this is going we came to, well this this was where we were yeah okay so these and you copy some of this stuff copy some of this stuff this is for his uh, initiative will be equal to remember cooldown is a cooldown before right now cooldown is uh, is it, it determines whenever uh, you take your turn which means that if you have a low cooldown you'll take turn often if you have a high cooldown you'll take turn not so often so right now it's 13 and a 30 sorry 30 sorry I'm, I'm speaking a bit Danish English right now don't uh, don't okay and so what it does right now is that when the game starts the control will start to find out whose turn it is by checking for the cooldown the cooldown is initiated if you know immediately so when the this value is turned on by the control it will start to tick down and when it reaches zero you know when it reaches zero it will stop this check and it will set his alarm to one this is why we go for the alarm so in the alarm we will say okay object path general and there's a reason we can't do this with object path general all this stuff we can't do that because we want to object path i'll show you now object path general dot other id this is the id of this instance this is where it gets really cool we will need this uh, value must be called later um, let's just do it the standard easy way movement equals to movement okay object path dot alarm zero equals to one okay cool this means that now we'll need to go to the object path general and do okay, I don't even need to copy that it's too simple go to the object path general and say other ID equals to zero movement equals to zero can move equals to false because we cannot move to this place at the moment so what happens now is that when we are in when we call alarm zero for this object what it does is that it says okay hmm, how does it we do this we call something variable variable distance distance equals to point distance x and y point other id dot x dot x comma other id dot y because we, we, we all when we call this uh, alarm we set it the other id is this object so it will always ask for this object okay so what we do now is that if distance is greater than if distance let's say distance plus one now let's say distance. Uh, this is the this is one I always get wrong because I'm a retard. Um, if distance is greater than other ID dot no we we already called that sorry is movement times how is it movement times hundred. So this means that if the distance is two hundred is greater than two hundred. For instance, if it's two away. But that is not. So if why is it that I always get this wrong? It's just a fucking symbol. Ah, uh, sorry. I I'll just get to that in a moment. Let's say that can move equals to true. Whatever. We'll just get back to that in a moment. Sorry. I, my my brain just froze. If place meeting x y comma object player one can move equals to false. I will start by saying that can move equals to false also here because we want that each time. So this means that left for left pressed left pressed if can move is equal to true then with uh, let's see other id dot x x equals to x other id dot y y equals to y other id dot move equals to true um, with object path general can move equals to false other id equals to zero i think that's basically if movement equals to zero i guess we could do that okay so let's make a drawing it can move is equal to true I say to just just so we can see something draw sprite draw sprite 
uh, sprite index point. I don't know if you want moving sprite some like that. So let's just say minus one to x times y. Just make it simple. I just make it real simple right now. I'm sorry. Um, and so if you can move, then it will draw something else instead. Car point zero point c line point one just because it will just color. It will just create a color instead. Oh, let's just do it the newbish way. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, let, we'll get back to this because we need to fix this. Why is it that I can't fucking figure it out? So if the distance of this... But if the distance is the same, then what? So if distance is... If, this, if the distance that it counted was smaller. Ah, I got it now. I got it now. Sorry, I was retarded. Plus one because because we cannot say if hundred is smaller than hundred. We can do that, but then it will be, be fa false because he would be able to move hundred steps, for instance. So we need to figure that out. This is okay. This is good. This is this is really good. Okay, so get to the next thing, um, which would be I just my girlfriend came over. Um, that would be initiating. Yeah, in here. So now you go to if move is equal to true, then if uh, point distance. Uh, how much time I got left? I don't know. X y point x point y point x point y y is greater than five. Okay, MP potential step. Um, Let's say object, object avoid. Remember that. Find three. Okay. Let's move equals to false. And x is x is y into y y. Alarm eleven equals to one. So alarm eleven is like ending your turn, which means that we will do we will call these kind of things here. So you will say that, and you will say that. Oh, sorry, that was stupid. And we will do this one again because it's like it, it's like ending your turn. So you need to count your cooldown again. Oh shit! Now okay. my food is actually done now. Um, we actually done. Just wait a minute. I'm just gonna be sure that there's nothing I have forgotten or something. I think we got it covered. I think we got it. oh this this thing yeah otherwise we'll be completely fucked. So object avoid they are all the kind of things that you want to avoid, which means that this one should be a parent of that object. Okay, we should be able to go now. Let's check it out. I think it should be good. Maybe there are some bugs, I don't know. It should be good. So it will count the count count down the cooldown. This is one of the old videos. Yep. And so we can select all these kind of places here. Cool. And it'll be his turn again, because there are nobody else's turn. There we did it in like 15 minutes, right? Oh my god, that is just brilliant. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, that was it.